Hey folks, if you've got a BYD battery like I have four of, then here's a couple tricks for you. Step one, strip off the excess weight. Dan Phillips that uh, has a YouTube video, BYD Battery Breakdown, Follow the first three and a half minutes of that video, and it, she shows you how to take off the two heat sinks. That saves about 40 pounds and makes the whole package more rectangular. A nice feature, oh, and by the way, ignore the terminal blocks. That's something I added as a way to parallel my batteries. Uh, one of the things you find is when you remove the connection from the back, save the screws, you're left with a beautiful negative terminal. Two screws to connect, um, but you've still got this positive terminal that a lot of people have trouble connecting to, and it sticks out. So here's the trick to take care of that problem. Now, by the way, as far as removing the heat sinks, uh, I've measured the internal cell resistance at one half a milliohm, so anything up to say 100 amps would only be 5 watts of dissipation. So if you're running under 100 amps, I don't think you'll need those heat exchangers at all. Okay, so here's the trick. Let's pull off the plastic, pull out the pre-loosened bolts. Let's get rid of this piece, which we won't need anymore. It's pretty soft so it's not too hard to cut. And here's the trick. Underneath where the two nuts are that previously attached the post, you can pull these nuts out and instead rotate and insert them above actually click in place. Now let's use the back piece as a convenient template. Drill a couple of holes, which if I'd plugged it in ahead of time would have looked much smoother. you should drill before you reverse the nuts and then use the two screws that you saved to create essentially an identical battery connector to the rear connector it doesn't stick out it makes a very compact arrangement now for me that's three down one to go Here's my other batteries, same treatment. And by the way, the bus bar that is removed could be used as a pretty nice, this is the negative terminal. This can be a pretty good bus bar for interconnecting your batteries. All right, well that's the tip. Batteries are sure a lot lighter and take up a whole lot less space. Thanks.